Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 6 of Ahsoka. And I really don't know what to expect from this episode because last week's episode was like the greatest thing that we've ever witnessed in Star Wars. Uh, it was just incredible. I find it so good. Um, and I've still been thinking about it every single day, which it seems like a lot of people have. So yeah, are we going to get to see Thrawn this episode? Uh, what's going to happen to Hera? Because, you know, she might be, you know, she 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 might be getting in a bit of trouble. Um, is she going to go back and then maybe like Zeb and Callus are going to help her? <laughs> I promise I will shut up about Zeb and Callus at some point. That's a lie. I really will not. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, the episode released three minutes ago, so no spoilers, um, which is going to be nice again. Uh, I've started getting used to reacting at this time um, just to avoid spoilers because people are ruthless on Twitter. <laughs> um, they don't know how to use the spoiler button. So yeah, let's get into this. I'm so excited. Dude, it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna get to see a whole new galaxy. Like, for the first time ever. And Sabine. Did the purgle noises in the intro. Oh, I have goosebumps already. Oh my god! Whoa! Dude, this is beautiful. What a scene to open with. One being the best, of course. I still have those stories in my archive memory. Would you like to hear one? Oh, yeah. Um, not right now. Oh. Perhaps you have a story for me. On second thought, tell me one of those stories. Yeah. Your choice. Very well. I'd love him to read me stories. He said the thing. <laughs> he said the thing. Oh, that was so exciting. That was one line and it was so exciting. Far, far away. Oh my God. I mean, we are literally going far, far away. We're going to another galaxy, man. Another galaxy where we're going to get to see our favorite blue boy. Oh. Dude, he's awesome. I love the way he walks. I'm so excited. Oh, that's sick. Come on, show us this new galaxy. Where are we? If it, if it shows like the Chimera, I'm going to shit myself. Ooh. That is Peridia, the ancient homeworld of my ancestors, the Dathomiri. The Jedi Archive spoke of this place. It was the end of the migration route used by the Star Whaler. My people were among the first to harness and ride the creature. Oh, of course they were. Hell yeah. The whales came here to die. Dude, what if there's more Dathomirians like on here? Like, what if there's more witches on this planet? If this is where they originated from? Oh, this is so, this is ridiculously exciting for me. This is where they came from. We are receiving a beacon signal from the planet's surface. Let us not keep them waiting. Dude, are we gonna see him or? Oh my God, I'm not ready for this. There's no way, there's no way it's gonna be them, right? Dude, I bet they really thought that they were like, Stranded out here. Oh, wow. Oh, I have goosebumps. I have so many goosebumps. Oh, my God. This is my dream. I'm surprised they didn't test whether they can still breathe this air or not, but I guess if they... <gasps> no! No, you're fucking kidding me! You're fucking kidding me! Oh my 
God! <laughs> Welcome, child of Daphne. <coughs> you do our ancestors credit. Thank you, great mother. You heard our call to you in the dream. Your visions guided me across the stars. Oh my god. Or witches. Yeah. Witches. Is it And you came as Thrawn promised. It reeks of Jedi. Okay, okay. It will wait in solitude. It. Wow. Oh, if I have just got her in an energy trap, that's wild. Dude, what if they have like energy bows and light whips and stuff? I never. Wolves. Well, Ezra must be here if there's fucking wolves. Dude, I never thought we'd get to see witches in live action. Like, Morgan Elsbeth was a huge thing for me, but no actual wit- like, more wit- Ugh. Fall of the Jedi. Rise of the Empire. It repeats again and again and again. And isn't it our turn now? What I see. And the beginning's here. Oh, I could just watch a whole episode on him. Or oh, both of them, really, but good lord. Oh my god. Is he here? <laughs> no! No, no, there's no way. The Chimera! <laughs> Represent, baby! <sighs> Holy fuck, that, that is so much more menacing in, in real, like, life. Oh, guys, guys, it's happening. Guys, it's happening. Guys, it's here. It's happening. It's, it's happening. Happening. I need to be quiet. I just want to scream, but I need to be quiet because of my neighbors. It's 2.38, 2.20 a.m. Night troopers! <laughs> this is crazy! What is- Night troopers?! Dude, look at the, like, the red bandages across them! Are these, like... Witch troopers? <laughs> guys, 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 guys! This is insane! I'm going crazy! <laughs> what was first just a dream become a frightening reality for those who may have felt Great mothers, I salute you. <gasps> Soon we shall all escape this exile thanks to the efforts of Morgan Elspeth. This is Enoch, captain of my guard. He shall begin the cargo transfer. Are they actual people? I have seen the catacombs. Or are they made from magic? Are they the same as Marek? At least three rotations. An acceptable time frame. I love their armor! I'm so glad that they got Lars. She could be of some use. He would not be the same without the voice. Mercenaries. The prisoner is Sabine Wren. 
Love that's a familiar name. You're quite right. She'd be of great use to us. <laughs> What a reunion, huh? Strong. What is it like to do this after so long to see a familiar face? We shall have provisions, a mount, and our latest intel on Bridges' whereabouts. So that's it? You're just gonna let me walk out of here? You helped my cause. Now I shall help yours. You should know, though, that once my starship departs, is dead. So, how did this all come if about? He survived, I'm sure he's doing just fine. Because Ezra had him trapped, and now he's. Looks like a giant version of the rats from Fallen Order. That's horrifying. Dota. It's also kind of cute. I'm confused. Die well. <laughs> Damn. His helmet is intriguing me so much. It's such a cool design. I trust in you, Sabine. You can find him. Sabine Wren will have the opportunity of finding Ezra Bridger. Just as promised. But you're gonna kill her after. You and your master will destroy them both. Blue pools, I guess. <laughs> Is this our first live action chiss as well? I can't remember if we've seen any other chiss in live action. Dude, if this gives us a cliffhanger of like hearing Ezra's voice or something, I'm gonna scream. No! Their armor! Dude, having a whole new galaxy, you can quite literally just bring anything into the mix. Holy fuck! It's like samurai armor. Let's go, Sabine! Oh, shit! I mean, I guess you never know what you kind of shit you're gonna run into here. Oh no! Oh, of course. What's with the dead bodies? Oh well, she's. You, you abandoned me. Oh! Should have known you were a coward. Sabine, go pet him right now. No, don't hurt his feelings. No. Oh. Oh no, I'm so sad, Sabine. Please. Please. No, Sabine. What is wrong with you? Please follow her. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! I'm gonna cry. Please give him love. I'm actually gonna cry. Please give him all the love. Okay. Fine. I'll give you another chance. You better not bail on me this time. Yay! Snorts happily! <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so happy again. He's just a little puppy. Well, friend, this is your world. <gasps> you got something? Oh. Yeah, use his his scent his his nose. He can help you. 
You better you better bring him back with you. He is your pet now. I think Jason would love him. I think Grogu would love him. I'm intrigued as what he's gonna find. It's gonna be some kind of hint. You're embarrassing yourself. Okay, yeah, that trick's over. He is adorable. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I got this. This is so interesting. Has he seen it before? You like this? How's that possible? What? Ezra, do, do you do you know Ezra? Oh my god. Oh no. There's so many of them. Do you know Ezra Bridger? He, he's my friend. Yes. Hey. He did good. Oh. Come on. He's just hungry. Dude, what? Comes from a breed of Vulcan Jedi trained in the wild after the temple fell. Like who? No. He was trained as a Jedi. You, I trained to be something more. Do you miss it? The order. I miss the idea of it, but not the truth. The weakness. There was no future there. I mean, it was a little bit scuffed here and there. We only see one here. I see what once was the great witch kingdom of the Dathomiri. The existence of the Great Mothers confirms this. Perhaps they flee a power greater than their own. Something calls to me. I'm so intrigued. Something stirs here. Oh, they've got a little village. Oh. oh this is very adorable. If we just hear like a distant Sabine in the I'm going to I'm going to lose it. He's so cute. They're actually adorable. I love all of them so much. I knew I could count on you. It took you long enough. He looks so good. Exactly. Tell any of us where you were going. Hug. Didn't it? It worked. As <laughs> <laughs> we find him. <laughs> oh, 
He looks so good with the beard. I see my friends found you. In fact, how did you find me? How did you get here? Well, let's not talk about that. Just want to be happy that I found you. After all this time, can I have that? Of course. Dikti, dikti, what, what? Come on. You never stay in one place for very long. Let's help them pack up. Thanks for coming. Can't wait to go home. Could it be the recently deceased Ahsoka Tano? Impossible. I thought it was beyond you. To underestimate a Jedi. Death and resurrection are common deceptions played out by both Night Sister and Jedi. Vela assured me of her death. And yet, he was once a Jedi. Oh! <gasps> so, we must regard him as flawed. No. We shall consider Ahsoka Tano alive until we know otherwise. And we shall prepare accordingly. And you will prepare accordingly. You're Our smart. History, home world, her master, everything. Yes, Grand Admiral. If a star whale approaches Peridia, destroy it with prejudice. Oh. I shall once again require the aid. Of your dark magic. <laughs> Destiny demands it, Grand Admiral. Are they gonna lend him some magic? You need to be a force wielder to use it, but they can. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I see you, dear Filoni. Dude, I am absolutely mind blown right now. The... <laughs> if you're new to my reaction, if this is the first reaction of mine you've watched, um, if you've been here for a while, you'll know. But the Night Sisters are my favorite thing in all of Star Wars. Like, it's the thing that I'm most knowledgeable about. It's the thing that I love the most. It's the thing, it's like the thing I'm most passionate about. And having Morgan Elsbeth was such a big thing for me. But now having actual, like, more witches with their proper, like, get-up going on. And the, the, the night troopers? Hold up. And the fact that, like, the Dathmerians come from another galaxy. Like, they're, they're, they, 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 they don't, they, ugh, that's why their magic is so rare. Because they know how to wield it. Because they're from a different fucking galaxy. And then they bring it to, to, to our uh, galaxy that we know. And they use the force to wield that magic. This is insane. All I ever wanted was more Night Sister stuff. That's all I've ever asked for for so many years. It's all I've ever wanted is more Night Sister stuff. Oh, we're getting it. And Thrawn is now asking for the aid of their dark magic. Like, what are they going to do? How is he going to... Like, I know that... Merrin obviously give Cal a charm that helps him, you know, use the power of Night Sister magic. But he has the Force. Thrawn does not. So I'm intrigued as to how they're going to play this or what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. But Thrawn is terrifying. He is the smartest person in the galaxy. He can he can beat like the strongest motherfuckers in the galaxy without using the force because of just how smart he is. Like he is absolutely fucking insane and I love him for it. And guys, we got to see the chimera. The chimera, real, live action, just there. And it's like all the parts that got broken off during like the, you know, the, the whole thing with Ezra and stuff. They're all like replaced with like gold pieces and stuff. Oh my god and the howlers i'm gonna say the howlers are fucking adorable and i want one immediately um 
the little noti people i don't know if that's what they're called they're so cute i love that we're seeing a whole new range of different like creatures and people and armor and stuff now that we're on a whole new galaxy like the bandits were fucking cool i love how everything is red themed and like i said about like the the night troopers with like the red bandages like the night sisters wear <laughs> like what are they are they human are they people are they like what are they are they just like again like i said are they like marek where they're just made up of the the magic um are they like night brothers that have been brought back from the dead and they're being used as troopers or maybe they're not even brought back from the dead maybe they are just night brothers and they're using stormtrooper armor or nice sisters they could even just be nice sisters in there i have no idea we don't we don't judge on gender here but whoa this was a fucking episode, man. This was such a fucking episode. I didn't expect to see both Thrawn and Ezra and Night Sisters all in the same episode. Like, Ezra looks so good. Thrawn looks and sounds so good. Like, like I said, I think that having Lars Mikkelsen is the best choice they've ever had. No matter what he looks like, I don't care if he looked awful, if he looks really good, as long as they have the voice, that's, that is Thrawn. Thrawn is the voice. Like, they could have hired anyone else and it would have been shit. Because it wouldn't have been Lars's voice. Thrawn needs his voice and they did it and he just... Oh, he's just so calmly intimidating and I love it. And like I said, Ezra, oh my god, with that beard and that hair, dude looks so good and he sounds really good as well. They definitely casted him so well. I kind of expected them to do like more of a run and a hug, but I guess it's kind of a surreal feeling to actually find him. Like that's not going to feel real um and maybe there's more secrets behind him maybe there's you know more things he hasn't told her and obviously she's gonna have to claim everything to him and then ahsoka's gonna come along and hu yang is gonna be there and he's just gonna be like hello um and dude this is getting crazy and we have what two episodes left it's not enough it's not enough um oh god this is wild i don't know how to feel right now i am gonna be screaming and i know that so many people are gonna be messaging me being like oh my god nice sisters nice sisters and i can't wait to talk about them forever um i'm so excited i'm i'm sorry i'm just so over the moon with this and now i'm gonna be up all fucking night thinking about this i'm not gonna sleep um i'm trying to think of the resentment house that i need to mention um no, I have no idea. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I love that. I do also love the little scenes with, um, with Balin and Shin because it's really nice to see them just interacting and being casual with each other and stuff. It's really, really nice. And now that we know that Shin is from the same kind of, you know, she came from the same way that Ezra did. Um, I can't remember what they called them. Balkan? I think that's what they called them. Um, and, you know, got trained and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is really, really interesting. I'm super, super excited for next week already. I need more. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Star Wars content. I will also be having Loki content very soon and also Our Flag Means Death. So if you're interested in any of those, I will be reacting to those come October and finishing Ahsoka, obviously. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you. <laughs>